in this next video, I'll be talking about the different types of techniques and medium that I used in this painting, A Bug's Life, that I did not too long ago. All right, my preferred medium in painting is typically oil, although I do paint in acrylic from time to time, especially while ideating. I uh, tend to paint in oil for more of like a finished product and or a larger painting especially if I'm going to be doing any type of blending. So as you can see in the beginning process of this, I will paint the entire canvas in a liquid white. And the liquid white is something I learned from a lot of Bob Ross tutorials and, and videos growing up as a kid. That allows the painting to stay wet longer and it allows the oils to blend within them very, very well. So it creates and allows like gradients and especially really, really good for clouds, skies, uh, even uh, landscape foregrounds as well. But typically the best results you're gonna see in skies. So I usually will start with the very, very, very background part of any painting. It usually will be the sky and some elements of the landscape. You always wanna start with whatever's gonna be in the furthest part of the background in any painting. And I go ahead and start to blend in clouds. Here I'll start to go ahead and get the placement of the mushrooms where I want to put them, the overall location. Uh, it's very beneficial and helpful that I've learned throughout the years in different techniques to just go ahead and paint where you want to put them in any color, usually a dark brown or a black. That kind of gives it like an underpainting. Um, that way you don't start just going right after it and wondering why it doesn't look right when you start adding the light sources and shadows. It's helpful to already have the uh, kind of back painting of the dark location of that object. And then you can go ahead as it dries and multiple passes, adding light sources and adding different shadows, because oftentimes it will take multiple passes and multiple layers of paint, uh, multiple days before it starts to come to life. All right, so that wraps it up for this painting. I went over just some basic techniques within the uh, background of the sky, object placement, and foreground. I'll be going in more further detail and technique with some future paintings, so please stay tuned. And in the meantime, if you have any questions, please, uh, please ask them, comment, like, and share. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.